The house painting, it's gone. This is simply awful, and I so wanted to buy it. What on earth is going on? I was in my bath and all the lights went out. I'm afraid someone's taken the Howarth. The Howarth? My Howarth? What's going on? You know what's going on. You stole my painting. Look at him. You can tell by the shifty look in his face. I never touched it. No? Don't jump to conclusions. Oh, you're always defending him. What other conclusion is there? Don't worry, sir. We'll mount a full investigation. If you could all stay in the hotel for the time being. Stand by, team. We have a case. Thank you. Welcome to the Academy of Criminal Investigation. A serious crime has taken place in the hotel above and you're here to find the culprit. And if you solve it, you can get into the Academy. Introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Darrow. Um, my age is 12 and I think I'll be a good, good detective because I love watching detective programmes. Hi, my name is Rami, I'm 11 years old and I love puzzles. Hi, my name is Jasteep, I'm 12 years old and I like asking questions. Well, it's nice to meet you. I'll tell you what I know. An art auction was due to take place in the hotel today in the drawing room, but at 6 o'clock I was in the sitting room on the mezzanine floor restocking the logs for the fire when suddenly the power went out. So. I went down to the cloakroom on the ground floor where the main fuse is kept and found that the fuse had been tripped. It was about five past six when I turned the power back on and I'd say the power was off for five or six minutes and all, but during that, the Duke of Kilcrammon's painting was stolen from the auction. Now, we have four suspects who all have an interest in the painting. The Duke and Duchess of Kilcrammon. They used to live in the hotel when it was a house. It was their house and they lived here with Victor, their son, until about five years ago when they sold it on to the hotel owners. Now, the Duke and Duchess have got problems with money, and that's why they're selling the painting, you see. But I did hear the Duchess trying to uh, tell her husband not to sell the painting, and I quote, she said, it was a family heirloom which should be inherited by Victor one day. Our fourth and final suspect today is Geoffrey Collingsworth. He's an art collector, and he's here at the hotel specifically to buy the Howarth painting. So that's what I know about the suspects. Let's hear it for themselves. I bumped into my son, Victor, at about 20 to 6. He had the nerve to say that since he was expecting to inherit the Howarth painting in the future, could he have his share of the proceeds now? Well, I lost my temper with him. Frankly, I wouldn't be selling the Howarth painting if it wasn't for Victor. When I got to my suite, my wife, the Duchess, was there. I told her about my argument with Victor, and then I ran a bath. I'd been in the bath about five minutes when the lights went out. When they came on again, I went to find out what was going on. It was then I was told about the theft. I was in our suite when my husband came in and said he'd just had a row with Victor. I decided to go and see if Victor was all right. I tried the lounge first and then the drawing room. Geoffrey Collinsworth was there, standing by the Haworth painting. He said that Victor had just left to go for a walk at the grounds. Geoffrey Collinsworth asked me if my husband may consider a private sale on the Haworth. He offered me £20,000 but said he could only pay half now and half at a later date. Well, I told him that was out of the question. Collinsworth left and I went to the window to see if I could spot Victor in the grounds, but it was too dark. I left the drawing room and then the power failed. I started to feel my way downstairs in the dark. I got down to reception and I waited there for a few moments and the lights came back on again. I just had a row with my father. It was about money. I went up to the drawing room. It must have been about quarter to six. When I was in the room, that art collector, Collinsworth, came in and started going on about what a wonderful painting it was. 
It was boring me senseless. So I decided to go out for a breath of fresh air. I was some distance from the house when I noticed that the lights were off. So I headed back, but as I did, the lights came back on. At about quarter past five, I went into the drawing room to have a good look at the auction lots. About half an hour later, Victor Cochraman came in. I started to tell him how much I admired the Howarth, but Victor said he didn't feel well and needed some fresh air. Shortly afterwards, the Duchess came in and asked me if I'd seen Victor. I told her that he had just got out to the grounds. Then I left the drawing room and went down to the lounge for a drink. Suddenly, the lights went out. Because of the darkness, I thought it safest to stay where I was. I think the power was only out for about five minutes. It suddenly occurred to me that something might have happened to the Howarth. So I went into the drawing room to check on it, and it was gone. I do hope the Duke has it insured. Thank you, suspects. So we're looking for means, we're looking for motive, and we're looking for opportunity to do the crime. At this early stage, who do you think's got the strongest motive? Well, Jeffrey. Mm hmm Maybe. Why? I don't know, it's just because he's an art collector. It kind of makes sense, because he wants the painting, doesn't he? Yeah, I, I, I kind of agree. What about yourself? I think it might be Jeffrey as well. Same as Daryl. What about you, Jesty? I'll go with Daryl and Remy. So the team think that art collector Jeffrey Collinsworth has the strongest motive, but all four suspects have admitted to being in or near the drawing room when the power went out. So they all could have had the opportunity to steal the painting. I'd like to introduce you now to the timeline. The timeline is used to plot where the suspects were during the crime. That's your timeline. And over here is the incident board. This is very important as you can write down any clues, any findings, any thoughts, anything at all that will help you solve the crime. OK? If you could update them now. Six o'clock. Victor. There was a son who was arguing with the dad. Uh -huh. is, is there any more time that you've got? Five past six when the power went out. Yeah. Have you got that? Not yeah. Turned on. Yeah. Uh -huh. The team have plumped for Jeffrey Collingsworth so far, but each of the suspects has a very strong motive. So let's see how the case develops. I, th I think it was that thing. Oh, yeah. Here's a CCTV footage, Jim Grant. Thank you very much. Team, gather round. Our first piece of hard physical evidence has come through. I've managed to pull out some CCTV footage from the hotel above. This is very important evidence because it can help us prove whether or not our suspects were telling the truth about where they were during the crime. If you watch it, but write down your findings very quickly because we can't detain the suspects for very long. I've got to go back up and check the crime scene one more time. Um, floor? At 5.45 p.m. on the first floor, five the dad five went five up five? the stairs. Um, at five, five, at five, they were arguing there. Dead. They were arguing at the... Argue. In the stairs, yeah. No, they were arguing that oh, that right. time. I was going upstairs, yeah. Five, second floor. Five, six. Second floor. Who's the second, second floor. floor. The Victor came up the stairs. Victor. At 5.49 p.m., Duchess um, came, went down the stairs. 5.50 p.m., she came back up the stairs. It was 5.57pm um, Jeffrey went down the stairs to the first floor and went 5.59 and the power went out. That should be bedroom three, bedroom three, Sophie, Sophie. If you'd set these up in the forensics lab, please. Thank you. Wow, I can sense the busyness. What's been going on? Tell me. Well, um, we've actually changed our mind of the suspect. I think it's the wife, because she did the say... The Duchess? Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Because she did say that she doesn't want to sell the, the painting. So you've gone from 
Jeffrey to the Duchess. Uh -huh. Okay. I'd like to point out the back stairs as well. And uh, how do you think the back stairs work? It could be maybe leading out to some place. Well, it starts here and it goes through here. Mm-hmm. That's part of the cloakroom. Yep. And where does it end up? Up in there. On the second floor. Oh, in the drawing room. And where's the main switch? In the cloakroom. <gasps> right. Ooh. The team need to pay attention to the hotel layout. If the culprit cut off the power before stealing the painting, they must have tripped the main switch in the ground floor cloakroom. The back stairs to the cloakroom aren't covered by CCTV. Now hold those thoughts and follow me. When somebody commits a crime, they leave behind a trace of their presence, such as a chip of paint or maybe even a hair. Now, this is called trace evidence, and it's up to the investigator to interpret it at their will, which is you. Now, I searched each of the suspects, hotel room and cars, for a sign of the painting. I couldn't find a thing. Now, we need to first establish how and why the power went off. So I went down to the cloakroom and I've taken some photographs of the mains fuse box. I've dusted down the switches and the leads, also the door handle to the back stairs as well. Now these are the fingerprints which I've lifted. You need to test them and match them to one of the suspects. When I was examining the fuse box more closely, I found this small white thread. Now, I don't know if it's got anything to do with the crime, but it's up for you to maybe link it to one of the suspects. The Duke and Duchess uh, have white towels in their bedroom. It could be that. I mean, I've also brought down the Duke's dressing gown as well for you to see if you can match it to the same thread. So, team, get busy. Right, so what is it you're taking out? Just the, the, just the fingerprints. fingerprints. This is Victor. I'm trying to drink. I think this might be because it has the same lines there. And it's a line at the top. There's a line at the top there as well. Guys, I think we found a match. You found one? Looks like it's coming from the screw. There's like a nail uh -huh. or whatever, doesn't it? So, yeah. Well, maybe it could, it could have, um, if he's coming down to turn off the lights, was right. robe on. I think this might be the mat. I pulled a thread out from the. Mm -hmm. So, that looks like. It looks like a very thin. A very thin rope, doesn't it? With so, mm -hmm. that looks very mm -hmm. thin there. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. I think, that's, I think that's, that's just. Yeah. Uh, mm. so funny, that's it. It's quite straight. It's twisted. Yeah, that, that looks a bit twisty, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, your timeline's looking great, team. Gather round and tell me what you know so far. Well, we found out that the, uh, the thread wasn't a match. It doesn't match. No, it doesn't match. It doesn't match the robe? No. Nope. Or the bathroom towel? No. Nope. But we did find a match for the fingerprints. fingerprints. yep. OK, and who do they belong to? Victor. Victor? Yes. You've now got to interview and interrogate your first suspect. You have four to choose from. Who would you like to talk to first? Victor. Victor. Um, Victor. Yeah. Why Victor? Because from the fingerprint that we found. Are you all agreed? Yeah. 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 Let's bring him down. <laughs> Can you take a seat, please? Where were you at the time, 5.45 to 5.59? I went into the drawing room. Well, I went to have a last look at the painting that my dad is so kindly selling. Why were you arguing with your dad? Because I don't want him to sell the painting. You know, it's, it's a family painting. It's an heirloom. It should be... Well, it's not his decision to sell it. It's, it belongs to us all and there's no reason why he should be able to sell it and take all the money for it. Why did you go for a walk? Because Collinsworth, that art collector, he came into the room and started going on and on. I didn't want to talk to him. I didn't want to talk to anyone, so I went out to get a breath of fresh air. Were you at the cloakroom? Yeah. What were you doing there? I was on my way out. Have you spoken to my father yet? Well, we are going to have an interview with him. Well, I think you should. You realise the painting's insured? I mean, <laughs> he's going to end up with the painting and the money. 
You know, he's not as stupid as he looks. Why was your dad going to sell the painting? Claims he needs money to redo the roof of our house, but... I don't know. Did you want to sell the painting? No, no, it's a lovely painting and it belongs to all the family, but if he's got to sell it, then I deserve some of it. I'm a member of the family, I'm the next generation. He should be passing it on to me, not using it all himself. Thank you for all your time. Sure. What is this place? This was never here before. It's the Academy of Criminal Investigation, if you can stay right there until we can eliminate you from our inquiries. The Duke and Duchess of Kilcrammond are at the hotel for a fine art auction due to be held this evening. The Duke is reluctantly selling off his favourite oil painting to raise some much needed money. However, the painting has disappeared during a mysterious power cut at the hotel. The couple's son, Victor, was against the sale of the painting as he'd expected to inherit the valuable masterpiece in the future. Geoffrey Collinsworth, an art collector has come to the hotel hoping to buy the Duke's painting but is said to be short of money. In the forensics lab, the investigators matched Victor's fingerprints to the prints found on the door handle to the back stairs. Using the microscope, they examined a white fibre found snagged on the fuse box but were unable to match it to any evidence found at the crime scene. So the team are quite slow to start with, but they are getting there. Ramit conducted a good, solid interrogation, but they do need to look out and listen out for more evidence. What's that, Daryl? Well, it's a fax about Victor, that he's called off his engagement because of a gambling problem. It was owes them £150,000. Maybe he was wanting the painting. Yeah, Maybe he took the painting so he, so he can owe up the money. money. Does that change anything? Well, yeah, it does. It makes us more suspicious about him. With all this new evidence, who would you like to interrogate next? Um, I'm going for the Duchess. Yeah. Because she did say that not to sell the painting. No, yeah. And then she might have taken it herself then. Yeah. The Duchess it is? Yep. Let's bring her down. <laughs> Oh dear, how curious. Sit down, please. Yes. Hello. Hello. Right. Why did you want to keep the painting? Why did I want to keep the painting? Because the painting's been in our family for many, many years, and my husband's terribly fond of it. Where did he go when you went downstairs and came back up? Well, I was looking for, when I was looking for my son Victor. Is that what you mean? Yes. Yes, I was looking for. My husband had told me that. Um, He'd had a row with Victor, my son, and I wanted to go and see if he was all right. What places did he work? Well, first of all, I went down to the bar to see if he was there. He wasn't, so I went back up to the drawing room. Why were you defending your son? Because he's my little boy, and I love him very, very much. Do you know his engagement has been cancelled and he has to owe up £150,000? Well, I knew he had cancelled his engagement, which was terribly sad, but sometimes, you know, things just aren't right. As far as the money is concerned, I didn't realise he owed quite so much money, but he's a young man. He'll find a way of paying it back. He's a very, very bright boy. Where were you when the painting got stolen? Was it when it went dark? Yeah. Well, when it went dark, I just came out of the drawing room and... I was making my way downstairs um, to see if I could find Simon, because I used to live here and um, I know how to, the electricals work because they're very temperamental, very old. And I was trying to find Simon to see if I could be of any assistance. <laughs> I'm sorry, dear, I'm terribly sad about... Okay. Who do you think it is? Well, I don't want to incriminate anyone, my dear, but that man, Geoffrey Collingsworth, did offer me money for the painting. I don't think he has the money, to be honest. And I think he wanted the painting so badly because he is a, a very ardent collector of beautiful works of art. I do think that maybe he could have stooped to stealing. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. It's very nice to meet you. Oh, Victor, darling, what a ghastly business. I'm sorry about this, Your Ladyship. I'm sure you're as keen to find the guilty party as I am. So the Duchess seems keen to point the finger at Geoffrey, and he clearly has a motive. But the Duke and Duchess and their son Victor all lived at Kilcrammond House for many years, so they were much better placed to find their way around in the dark. Team, you're not going to believe this. Major development. 
the painting has been found... The painting? Flo exactly. Oh, floating God. in the pond just there. It's been tested and forensically analysed, so you can have a good look at the painting, but this is where it gets interesting. Listen. You see any fingerprints? In? The surface of the painting has been badly damaged by the water, which led us to carry out forensic tests on the paint, and these tests show that the painting is not the 100-year-old J.J. Howarth original. That is a fake. What? <gasps> fake? The canvas on which has been painted and the paint itself has been tested, proving it was painted within the last three years and aged. Did you know that fingerprints can survive immersion in water and the prints of both the Duke and the Duchess of Kilcrammond were found on the frame of the painting? Maybe the Duke was holding it before when he's about to sell it. He was maybe thinking about it and Possibly. maybe holding it. So where's the real one then? Well, this is the question that needs to be asked. I think it's time to interrogate your last suspect. You have two to choose from. Who do you want to choose? Jeffrey or... Uh, Jeffrey or... The Duke? Because we heard... I think we should choose Duke, yeah. Because we heard quite a lot about him. Because we heard quite a lot about him. Because her fingerprints was on it and so was his, so I think we should... ...ask him... I'm going to have to hurry you. Go for Duke? Yeah. Go for Duke. Duke. You're going for the Duke? Yeah. Because his fingerprints were on it. Yeah, we haven't heard that much of him. Are you sure? Yes. Let's bring him down. If you could take How a seat, please. Fine. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm sorry if I appear a little distracted, but this has been an awful business. Why were you going to um, sell the painting? Well, uh, the fact is, I'm afraid we don't have the kind of money that we used to have, and uh, we feel that we can only raise money by selling some of our possessions. Why did you accuse your son? He's not the man I expected him to be. He's, um, he's a bit of a wastrel, you know. Horses and fa fast cars and... Um, he's um, rather a spendthrift with my money. OK. Where were you at the time of the crime? No, oh, well, I suppose at that time I was in the bath. That, that was when the lights went out, wasn't it? Just I was in the bath. Do you know the painting is a fake? It's a fake? I don't understand. I, that painting was one of my prized possessions. I, I, don't, I, I just don't understand. Well, who do you think did it? I don't know. I want a I... straight answer, please. Who? Do you? Well, I suppose um, I would have to point the finger, I'm afraid, but my son, Victor, I'm sorry to say so, but he's been spoiled by his mother and um, he would be my first choice. Thank you for your time. Well, thank you very much. Are you absolutely sure it's a fake? I can't believe it. Do you know they told me the painting is a fake? Are you sure, dear? That's what they told me. It's true. Forensics have proven it is a fake. Okay. Team. Time is running out. You really do need to think long and hard about who is today's suspect. You need to look at the evidence, go back over your notes, talk to each other. Communication is the key. You really do need to concentrate. But it needs to be quick. So, think about who your prime suspect might be. I think it might be her. Just tell you why. She went to the second floor, right? So she might have taken it herself, right? Maybe she knew that it was a fake and then he didn't know. So he's, he wants to sell it because he thinks that it will be worth a lot, but she doesn't want it because she knows it's fake. I think it's him. I don't think it's him. Because his idea, because he had an argument with his dad. And, and he, and he said, I bet, I bet he said that he went through the cloakroom to go out. Uh, and then and then the clo near the cloakroom is the back stairs. If he's looking for money, right, he wouldn't just get it and all and stick it in a pond. Would they? No, I think it might be hard. Maybe try to hide it, but... Ah. Uh, because of oil painting. Is it is either them two? Right. Don't forget about Jeffrey. All about him. <laughs> he offered £20,000. Yeah. And that's why she's trying to take it away, so... so because he thinks it's a real one and she knows it's fake. Uh -huh. So she might... Mm. It's time to bring down the final suspect. 
I am not a criminal. What on earth is going on? Please bear with me, all of you, bear with me. We are just moments away from revealing who the real culprit is, team. The time is nigh. You've seen all the evidence. You've interrogated three of the four suspects. Who is the real criminal? Well, I thought it was maybe Duchess, because I think um, she said that she, she wanted to keep it because she might know it. She might have known it was a fake. I think it's Victor. Victor? Yeah. So why are you saying Victor? Because he, he went did out. Come out. He, he did, did come out. He went yeah. to the cloakroom and he, he must have went through the back stairs. I went to the other He wasn't way. shocked at all. Oh. You think it's Victor? Are you all agreed? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Let's see if you're right. It was the Duchess. Oh, we should have Daryl! Oh, okay. You had it! Oh. The Duchess was desperate to stop the sale because she knew the painting was a fake. I think she sold the original to save Victor's bacon at some point and had a new copy made behind her husband's back. She went down the back stairs to the main fuse box. You didn't notice that she had a white cotton handkerchief during her interrogation. She used this to trip the fuses without leaving prints, but the material snagged on the fuse box casing. After that, she ran back up to the drawing room via the back stairs, grabbed the painting and made her way outside. She threw the painting in the pond, I expect she was intending to retrieve it later and get rid of it properly, but she never got the chance. Then she went back into reception via the front door, just as I was turning the power back on. You're all free to go. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Duchess, you stay right there. Unfortunately, it is disappointment for our teams today. It was a very difficult crime to crack. Sometimes the smallest detail can hide the biggest clue. Who did you suspect?